And what is going on everybody, it is Kier today and I'm back with a new video after about a week. I've been slowing down on videos lately just because I'd rather put more quality and effort into more videos instead of just pumping out videos all the time. As you can see my channel just isn't what it used to be so I'd rather just spend more time making one video that does really well instead of making a bunch of videos that just do alright. So the topic for today's video is the fastest way to fill up your Crips trading company post naturalist update. So the rundown, the fastest way you could fill it up before the naturalist update was just getting a bunch of 3 star animals, preferably like pronghorns, cougars, panthers if you're lucky. But we all know that animals wouldn't spawn. After the naturalist update, they fixed a lot of things that Red Dead Online when it came to server issues, thankfully. With that, they fixed the spawn rate of animals, so there's pretty much animals all over the state wherever you're at. But the biggest addition was the legendary animals, obviously, as you can see on the screen. The video in the background is just us getting the futile ram, or whatever it's called. Doing this method to fill up your trading company isn't going to level you up in the naturalist role because you're not going to be getting XP towards that from getting its samples. Doing this method will fill up your trading company at the fastest rate you can. So to summarize it, what this method is, is just doing the legendary animals animal missions you can get from Harriet. Before you go to Harriet, make sure you sedate a couple animals with your varmint rifle with the sedative rounds, because if you kill too many animals, we all know what Harriet does to you. <laughs> she goes, would you dress in human skin too? <laughs> they tell me, you know? They tell me. They tell me. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 <laughs> How come you haven't been screwed? You're wearing more of an animal than I am. <laughs> so yeah, you wouldn't want that to happen to you because you have to wait like five minutes before you can go to her again. With the bar and the Crips Trading Company, if you do three legendary animal missions in a row and you skin the animal, then you donate it to Crips, you should get almost a full bar. You might have to do four, but usually three is a safe bet. By doing this, it should eliminate the factor of you ever having to get your hunting wagon out and storing a bunch of animals in there. All you have to do is just four legendary animal missions in a row, skin them, then give it to Crips, and then you're good. It doesn't even matter which pelt you give to Crips because he says it's a special type of pelt that you don't see too often, so it doesn't really matter. Some obviously do more than others, but they're all about the same anyway, so all you really need to do is just do three or four missions and then you're good. And that is pretty much just the easiest method on the fastest way to fill your Crips trading company, and then now the rest of the video is just going to be a video of a sell that me and Jack did earlier today. We finally got some action on a sell for once some people try to stop us from selling it, but you can't stop us with the loadout that we run. And if you haven't seen my video on the best defense loadout for selling your wagon, you should go check it out, I'll put a little clip right a here. A Mauser with explosives, or a pistol of any kind. I'll on that, with explosives, or a revolver of any kind. A dynamite bow! And a rifle with your favorite round. So before I do the sell, just remember, just do three to four legendary animal missions, skin them, and give them to Crips, and then you're good. The only thing you'll have to do is just maybe do a couple more if you need to fill the whole thing completely, and just do a couple resupply missions that you probably have to do. So yeah, that is it for me in this video. Make sure you leave a like, and also hit the subscribe button, and enjoy the video. Yep. Be on my strong side. Got a lot of PCs. Why is that guy uh, looping around me? Is he just hanging in the back, I guess? I think he's getting the other guys. Yeah, okay, yeah, he's just getting... He's aiming at me! Ah, bastard! We had a good terms! Time to, uh... Oh, put me on a horse. Why is an elephant gun out? Oh yeah, just knocked him off! Good. We good! I will shell out my Lancaster shots right now. Yeah. You didn't want to do this, because now we have these pistols <clears throat> that we've been itching to use. I mean, I'll give it to these guys. These guys were the closest people to stop us from selling a wagon or just even steal our wagon in like a year. Got it. Yeah, they ain't coming off our map, so. Oh, shit. Well, one of them did. Damn it! it. No, oh, use that! Get you okay, kill him. Nice. Alright, horse, I need you to. Come over here. He put a different gun on my back, so I only have these five ex or ten explosives in my rifle. So in this case, Jack was a posse leader and I was a posse member. Since I got killed, it would spawn me next to him on the wagon. And since he got killed off the wagon, it spawned him on his horse, which is a really good thing. So pretty much the whole time in the situation, I was just trying to stop these guys from getting towards him. That's why I was just trying to use a carcano to slow him down. Don't kill the guy, kill their horse, because it slows him down more than just killing the guy. Okay, he's got this far out shot. Oh, he's me. Kill the horse. There you go. Nice! Kill the horse, then don't kill him. Then he has to wait. Whatever, just use that explosive. Okay, he's used a couple of Lancaster shots already. Good. Wait, why is it putting him in a fucking Kill the horse? I think. Okay, as long as yeah, you I'm kill the kill horse the... and. Oh, it's spawning, spawning right yeah, next yeah, to Yeah, that's, that's good, good, actually. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> I hate it. It'll put me into a ghost mode when I spawn in, so I can't shoot him immediately. Yeah. Shoot that 
horse, mother. Shoot that horse. There you go. Now, what you gotta do is like get in a long firefight where no one's killing anybody. Yeah, I know. Because then they'll. Because I'm out of their dead eye range if they have that. Yeah. See, look, I understand not everyone has a second person to help them sell their wagon, so if someone does attack you while you're selling your wagon and you know you can't get the wagon back, do not dashboard the game, just jump session, so press pause and go to online, then find a new session. Yep, using this wagon as cover. <laughs> no, it didn't knock him off. Uh, oh, nice! Stop! Yeah, I saw that oh one. yeah, I did not come up. Yeah, there's him. Okay, as long as he can't snipe me. <clears throat> We're gonna have a nice smoke out afterwards. No. Come on. I shot his horse once. Okay. Damn, it puts me. Oh, his horse is dead. Me. Okay, his horse is dead. It puts me into a void off the start. It's not very helpful, actually. Yeah. Alright, there he is coming up. These guys are just eating 40 Carcano shots. <laughs> uh -huh. Maybe it won't be a fun smoke out afterwards. Doesn't matter if you yeah. die, because you just hold that line and just drag them. It's actually better if I die low key. Better if you die, yeah. Like, you, you put up a fight. If I was the other guy, I would just go yeah. around. Both of those guys were level 300, and I swear they did not know how to attack the wagon. Like, I'm not even trying to dog them. Like, they just didn't attack it very well. They didn't really have a good plan for that. Because I didn't really put the full clip at the start. What happened was we were crossing the Baird's Crossing Bridge, and we backed off of them. So at the start, it looked like we had some good ground. Like, we weren't going to attack each other. If we really wanted to, we could have overtaken their wagon. Trust me, we've done it before. We hate doing it. It's not worth it, but we would have done it. So we were just going to let them sell because it looked like they did a close buyer, so they weren't showing up on the map like we were. We always do distant deliveries because the extra money is just worth it. Because if we were them, we would have had someone go around, like Jack was saying, to have them attack from different angles. But they kept trying to attack from the same place. I know they were just kind of trying to chase us, but that was it. But seriously, if those two guys had really good common sense, they would have attacked it differently, like how I just said, and we wouldn't have been able to make this sale. So as I was reiterating, if you have a second person, like how I was the second person in this case, you could have someone defend your wagon, which is very helpful. As you can see, I did a very good job of doing that. But if you're doing a distant delivery on your own, you will show up on the map to all other players. And if someone attacks you and you know you can't get your wagon back, just jump sessions. So press pause and then go to online and find a new session. If you dashboard the game and the wagon gets destroyed or anything, it'll deplete your supply so you'll go back down to zero. So either way, you won't get to sell it. So the best way is just to go to the online tab and find a new session. And if you don't want to sell it that day, you can just close the game after that. And that is pretty much it for this video. I'm going to summarize what I said at the start. So the fastest way to fill up your trading company, do three to four legendary animal missions to fill your bar up at the start. Do your resupply missions that you need to do. And if you still need supplies, just keep doing legendary animal missions, skin them and give them to Crips because those are the fastest way to fill it up. I would recommend just filling it up till the bar is full again, just so you have extra, just in case you really do need it. And then going on to the sales, just do distant deliveries. The extra money is well worth it. Just do it on your own. And if you get attacked, just jump sessions, go to online and then find a new session. Do not dashboard the game. But if you have a couple extra people to sell, the more people, the better. But all you need is one, as you can see right here. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one.